Nikki has lived in this mid-century flat in regional New South Wales for around three years. In 2021, she fell on hard times. I got sick. I'd also been dealing with a death in the family and the end of a relationship, and um, I was in a pretty bad way. Not being able to work, she fell behind on her strata levies, which cost about $600 a quarter. I had informed the strata manager of what was happening and um, they gave me a period of grace and then I was doing a payment plan. In the meantime, they'd referred me to a debt collection agency and they ended up referring me to the sheriff. The debts kept mounting a special levy for the driveway, plus interest, legal fees and debt collection costs soon added up and she was taken to court. Oh, it's been traumatic. Um, you know, I've had days where I've just not wanted to get out of bed. Strata companies can file for bankruptcy once the debt reaches $10,000. That low threshold provides a perverse incentive for owners corporations and their lawyers to take legal action as a first option to collect these debts because they can add their costs back to the debt owed. Consumer rights organisations say there is a rising trend of homeowners going into strata debt, often over relatively small amounts. Analysis of federal court data has found 10% of all forced bankruptcies across Australia are from strata levy debts. It's even higher in New South Wales and the ACT, and it's a growing problem in the bigger states. The matter is getting worse. The numbers for forced bankruptcies due to strata levies in 2022 are almost triple what they were when we last collected data in 2017, 18 and 19. Laws governing strata companies are state-based and body corporates aren't required to offer payment plans. This means that consumers have no protections when they do fall into arrears with their strata payments. Consumer groups want strata companies to offer mandatory financial hardship arrangements, as well as an increase in the bankruptcy threshold from ten dollars to $50,000 and a cap on the amount of fees and charges added to the debt. The peak body for strata companies is willing to work with state governments on proposed regulations. That does need to be balanced though with the needs of the rest of the owners to raise funds to ensure that we can fund critical infrastructure and services to those owners. The number of homeowners being sent bankrupt by body corporates is likely to increase. With high interest rates and the rising cost of living already stretching many households beyond their limits. The New South Wales Government is working with the sector to introduce changes that will go before Parliament this year. That will come too late for Nikki. She used some of her super and borrowed money from friends to pay off her original debts but new debts are piling up and she owes a further $6,000. I've just been really ill, so, you know, these things happen, but, you know, you shouldn't become homeless because you're ill. A difficult cycle of debt to recover from.